In this Microsoft Excel tutorial, we learn how to create a combination chart or combo chart, such as a line chart combined with an area chart, or a vertical bar chart combined with a line chart. For our first example, we have 11 years of data where we are looking at the total number of employees and of those, how many are employed part-time. To insert the chart, I will go to the Insert menu and then click on Recommended Charts. Click on the All Charts tab. Most of the charts in this window have all of the data plotted using the same chart type. So this data is plotted using columns. These charts are plotted using lines and so on. If we go to the last option, the combo chart, it lets us plot the different columns of data using different chart types. So here the total employees are plotted using a clustered column. And we could change that if we wanted to, for example, to an area chart and the part-time employees are plotted using a line, we could try a line with markers. The year is also being plotted, and the year actually belongs on the axis label, so we will fix that in just a minute. I think I will change the total employees back to a column chart and click OK. Now let's fix the year really quickly. With the chart selected, go to Chart Design and click on Select Data. Highlight the year and click remove and then for the horizontal axis labels click on edit and select our years. If you change your mind and want to go back and choose a different combo chart then with the chart selected under chart design you can click on change chart type and that brings up this window again. Formatting a combo chart works pretty much the same as the other chart types. So here I can change the color. This chart was pretty simple because we only had the two columns of data. So let's look at an example where the data is more complicated. Here we have the same information, but I will paste in two more columns. So now we have the total number of employees broken down by part-time, full-time, and then the average employee salary for each year. Let's go to Insert, Recommended Charts, All Charts, and click on Combo. As you can see, the combo chart is pretty complicated. Once again, we have the problem with year being included. And also, I don't want to show the total employees. Even though it's in my data, I just don't want to include it in the chart. So when your data is complicated, and actually, I recommend this method for any combo chart that you create, is to start with the column chart. So I'm going to the very first clustered column and clicking OK. Now click on Chart Design, select Data, and once again we can remove the year from the series and add it to the axis labels. And uncheck the box next to Total Employees to hide that column from the chart. And now I'll click OK. To change this from a column chart to a combo chart, we can either click on Change Chart Type and then click on combo, or if I cancel out of there, I can right mouse click on any one of the bars and then click on change series chart type. This option means I want to change the chart type for just this series, which I've clicked on average salary. And so when I click on that, Excel knows that since I want to change the chart type of one series, that must be a combo chart and automatically brings up this window. You can see that the chart is a lot easier to work with because we did some initial cleanup. Let's change the part-time employees to a stacked column and the average salary to a line. The number of employees are counts. The salary is dollars, so I'm going to put the salary on a separate axis. Notice that the average salary is quite high for two years, and in those same years, the number of employees has decreased. I think it might be easier to see what's going on if we change the part-time and full-time numbers to lines because then we can see their movement and the average salary to a column chart. Let's click OK and I'm going to just really quickly format the column chart so that we can see it a little bit better. This combo chart really brings your attention to the two years when the number of part-time employees fell below the number of full-time.
And because full-time employees are paid a higher salary than part-time, that explains the higher average salary amount for these two years. Compo charts often require extra thought and formatting. For example, the axis for the average salary is on the right and the legend entry for the average salary is on the left. Sometimes you can move the legend entries by going to select data, highlight salary, and click the up and down arrows, but this is not working. And that's because the legend items always appear in the order they are drawn on the chart. In a combo chart, bars are drawn first, then lines. If we switch these around in the legend, then the lines will be drawn first and the bars will cover the lines. And so Excel will not let us do that. But that's okay since we cannot move the legend item, let's go with the easy solution and move the axis. Click on change chart type, next to average salary, uncheck the secondary axis box so that it is now the primary axis on the left. Check the box for full-time and part-time so that these values will be plotted using the secondary axis on the right. I'm also going to the data table and in the column header for salary, type in a bunch of spaces after the word salary. This will shift the legend entries closer to their respective axes. We can take this a step further and add consistent colors to make it really clear which data series go with which axis. Make the axis labels blue. Click on the legend once, then click again on just the part time. I can even change the text color of a specific legend item. So now we have our combination or combo chart, and I think it looks really good. To summarize what we talked about, I do recommend when creating a combo chart to begin with a column chart, just your basic column or vertical bar chart, and then click on chart design and you can go to select data to make any initial changes or cleanup that are needed, and then go to change chart type, change it to a combo chart, and then use this window to try out different scenarios until you find one that communicates the information in the most effective way. I hope this video is helpful. If you enjoy learning about working with data, please consider subscribing to this channel.